Hmm. Cool. You saw that in my trap. Uh oh. Um. Wait. Very well. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. Yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be a servant. That tea set looks rather heavy, so without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. Very good, sir. I am the head bellboy at the Fine Gate Water Hotel, in business for four generations. I believe I received a call after eight in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine on the dot, sir. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May, herself. I see. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Right, I'm ready. I hope. This is it. If I can't prove Miss May wasn't involved with the murder now, mine will be finished. Okay, da 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 da. Yep. Nine on the dot. Press. Nine on the dot, you say? Yes, I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching a program on TV and wished to drink after she finished, sir. Nine. The time of the murder. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. Press. Precisely, exactly, and most definitely, sir, 9 p.m. How can you be so sure? Miss May was quite insistent that it be brought then. Oh, bellboy, hee hee, I'd like, like, iced coffee at exactly 9. Something like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked on her door at the crack of 9, sir. Why would she be so particular about the time? You are sure it was Miss April May herself? Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing manner of of mine. How come you're so very certain? Well, when I broke room service, sir, she, the guest, sir, favored me with an, um, an embarrasser, sir. Embarrasser? sir? Is that French for embrace? It's French for kiss, sir. But not a French kiss, sir. More of a peck on the cheek. Why would she have done that? I believe, perhaps, she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. It was a moment I shall never, ever forget, sir. Sounds pretty fishy to me. I think our Miss May was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember her. It's no good. There's nothing here. Is... is that it? Tisk tisk. Finally, you understand. This bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now, if you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. Hmm, it was a bit tedious. The witness may leave the stand. I can't let this happen, can I? Protest! Wait! Please wait! Yes, does the defense have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Your Honor, I must object. This charade of justice has got long enough. Now, now, Mr. Edward. All right, Mr. Wright. I'll give you one more question, that's all. Okay. This is really it now. This is my last chance. What do I ask him about? Ask him about check-in. Tell me um, Tell me about check-in. Tell me about when you checked in this man. Oh, all right. Very well, sir. My first thought was that she was a beautiful, beautiful person. She's just my type of girl, so it was a disappointment, really. I see. Wait, excuse me. What exactly was a disappointment? Well, I am not without charm, sir, but even I'd have little chance with her lover there. What did he say? What did you just say? Ah, oh, uh, rather, quite. Bellboy, tell us the truth. Did Miss May check in with another person? I object. That was objectionable. Did weak. Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. Uh, yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, sir, you, uh, didn't ask. Nice try. That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. 
Ah, yes, quite, indeed. It was the, uh, good barrister there, Mr. Edward, who... He asked me not to mention it if I wasn't specifically asked, sir. Oof! You fool! I've done it. I've won. Miss April May checked into a twin room with the man, correct? Yes, sir. Then, when you brought the room, uh, them room service, you didn't see that man in the room? That's right, sir. Hmm. Your Honor, we have just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In this new light, I hold that it is impossible just to defend it. You agree, Mr. Edward? Who? Who is this other person? Simple, it was... The man with Miss May. The man who checked in with Miss May. Your Honor, as has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. Yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. My, what a convenient little setup, but it's too late. Too late. I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court! Upstart amateur. These accusations are ludicrous. Enough! The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. I am... Am I understood? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. That is all today for the trial of my FA. Court is adjourned. September 7th, 224 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Mr. Wright! You are amazing in there. R really? I think I might be your newest fan. Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. Then again, that other attorney was pretty cool, too. Huh? That face of his, with his eyes wide and trembling lips? It shed, it sent shivers up my spine. If you say so. So, what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Well, no. I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I see. But I got a great lead in today's trial. Indeed. That man with Miss May. He's the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that, anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning her charms won't work everywhere. She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir. I'm going to find out more about this man. I think he was the one who... Maybe so. Sis. Don't worry. I'll find him by tomorrow. I promise. I'm counting on you. I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow, but now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that got left on the record, and that'll get added to the court record. That will be very important later on. I don't know how much good this will do me at all now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating! Maya doesn't belong in that detention center, and it's up to me to get her free. Next time, investigation day number two. See ya.